This is the final exercise here where we're going to take each of the shoulders right and left and create them for the shoulder number two. So if you already know how to do this and you don't want to do it, you can already skip this lesson or please do the exercise um, and, and pause this and I'm going to give you the solution right now. So this shoulder dash two needs to become two shoulders, the left and right shoulders, just right, just like shoulder one and shoulder two. Go ahead, do it now. All right, so here is the solution. I'm gonna take the shoulder dash two and I'm going to um, duplicate that. So I'm gonna right click and you can also just reveal in Finder and duplicate that. So right click, duplicate, or you know, uh, copy and paste will do it as well. And I'm going to rename them to shoulder dash two dash right and shoulder dash two dash left. All right, and now going back to Unity, they will magically reload. And here they are, two right and left. Now, obviously they are the same. So what I need to do is modify the scale so that they, they both are on the opposite side. So the shoulder dash one dash left has a scale of negative zero in the X position. So I need to do the same here. I need to select the shoulder two and put a negative in front of it, all right? So the left one takes a negative. Okay, and I need to paste the actual exact same component as the hooks. So right click, copy component from the shoulder one left, going back to shoulder two left, and paste as new component. Paste component as new. Same thing for shoulder one right. I'm going to copy this component, so copy component, and paste it in the shoulder two right as new component. Paste component as new. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to I'm going to develop and change the shoulders from shoulder one right to shoulder uh, shoulder two. Okay, so shoulder two dash, dash right and shoulder two dash left. All right, so do it for those two, save it and go back to Unity. By the way, please save uh, in Unity as many times as possible because if you don't save, the prefabs will be lost. That's one of the weird things about um, Unity. Any change in the prefabs get lost if you don't save. All right, so let's press play and see. We should have the new ones now. And yes, here they are. And as you can see, our character looks already different. Now, this set is made for the second man, man underscore two, but it still looks good, okay? All right, so that's definitely something um, that, uh, that I can't wait to do is get the two characters here and get them to animate and fight against each other. That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so that's it. This is the solution of this exercise. See you guys in the next lecture.